Okay, well here we are. Our blade is now finally back from heat treat. It's taken quite a while, but uh, here's here's our blade and uh, Rockwall Rockwell tested. <laughs> you can see that 60.5, 60.5. So um, yeah, good to good to go. Basically what uh, the process I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, hand sand, just hand sand the flats here. I'm going to be taking the blade up to pretty much a full full flat grind. So just basically going to going to sand about from here to here just to get a good uh, scratch pattern going going the same way. And uh, so yeah, look, that's the next step. The uh, just going to use uh, basic glass cleaner on the blade and uh, just use that as my lubricant to begin hand sanding. Okay, now we're going to 220. After starting with 120, now to 220. Okay, plus nine degrees in the shop this morning, so excited to get to the grinder and begin doing the final bevels on the blade. So I'm just going to go through a different belt uh, progression here. Typically what I'll do, I'll go uh, 120, uh, 220, just about 120 and 220, do, do most of the, most of the, uh, the work. On the 120, just get it grinding off the uh, the heat treat uh, marks and, and stuff there, and just thinning thinning the edge, and uh, then I'll go do to uh, a couple passes with a with a 220, and uh, then I'll go to a surface conditioning belt. So that's the that's the process and procedure that you'll be seeing here. Okay, so here we are. Got the 220 grit done on the blade there, and I got uh, got it all the way up to uh, the edge there, and I'm really really happy with it. Got some smudges and uh, water and stuff on it, but uh, yeah, I'm really 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 happy so far how it turned out. And uh, now I'm going to take it and. Uh, do a couple passes with a surface conditioning belt. Surface conditioning belt. Now you might not know what those are, but basically think of the little uh, scrubby pads like Scotch Brite, Scotch Brite scrubby pads. And so there's companies that make 
belts, 2 by 72 size belts, and smaller as well. And uh, they use uh, that material, similar material. And so works uh, really well to just uh, refine the scratch pattern on the blades and uh, just... Uh, you know, makes it uh, makes it just a very very nice smooth satin type finish with a little bit of machined look on it. So I really love that look. It just looks really good. These are working knives. These aren't knives for uh, playing around or or setting on a shelf. I want these to be work used. And so oftentimes, if there's a knife with a mirror finish, you don't want to use it. You don't want to touch it. And I've never done a mirror finish. Don't plan to. But um, <clears throat> these uh, Scotch Bright belts. I'll show you just a second here. Are really really good. And I learned a trick. What I do is I put some uh, WD-40 on the, the belt. And then it, as it uh, goes round and round and uh, slow speeds, it will uh, make a really, really good look. So anyway, we'll uh, look at that right now. There you go. You can see see the belt there. And this is the fine the fine one. So it'll uh, create a nice nice pattern on there. Okay, here we have it. That was fast, and uh, I don't know if this camera is going to be able to do it justice, but uh, it's um, one of the most beautiful finishes there that I, I I've done. I really, uh, it's just just beautiful as you can see there. So anyway, blade is blade is done. Blade is done except for sharpening, and so now we're going to go on to picking out our handle material which I think I'm going to use some micarta. I'm going to use some micarta on this handle some kind and uh, probably micarta pins as well. I'm just going to use two, uh, two pins, two small eighth inch pins and then right there. I don't think I'm going to use that hole back there. It's a little bit too close, but uh, I drilled it a little bit too close, but I'm going to use this hole right here for a lanyard hole and uh, use a probably in my car to land yourself. So, anyway, hope you're enjoying the series. Thanks uh, thanks for sticking along. Okay, well just a quick little clip here to show the etching process. And uh, I've got a little machine called the Personalizer. And I just connect it up to uh, the blade with the red lead and the black lead has a special uh, connection there to etch the blade. This is electro electro etching, and so I'm just uh, etching the type of steel on the blade using this uh, elect electrolyte, and uh, works works really well. I've already done, as you see here, I've already done the. Oh, it's covered up. <laughs> I have the uh, my other logo on there, but I I covered it up forgot there but uh, yeah just getting ready to etch that and so usually etch that for about um, probably 45 to 60 seconds and uh, I'll show you the result in the end there it is AEBL stainless steel and a good good mark there here's the uh, my, my logo as well as you can see so Sometimes I do it before the. Uh, sometimes I do it before the uh, blade's done, before I put the handle on. Other times I do it after the handle's on. But uh, anyway, good, nice clean etch and good system. Highly recommend the Personalizer or the Personalizer Plus. It's a great electro etch. All right, so now we're back in the shop after getting the knife etched. Um, as you can see that there. Got the knife, my etching on there, and also got it sharpened, as you saw there, so it's nice and sharp. And now what we're going to do is, um, I already, I, di I didn't video the process, but I glued some liners on the scales. So here's the scales I'm going to use right here. Um, this is some really nice cross-cut micarta I got from Gentry Knives. Really nice, uh, really nice stuff here. I glued some liners on them, just epoxied, and uh, pressed them. I have this little press that I press it in, 
And uh, so glued, uh, glued the epo epoxy, these liners on there. These are blue and black liners. So now what we're going to do is just drill the holes for our pins. i got to tape off this blade here because, I, like I said, it's sharp and uh, don't want to cut myself. But uh, tape off the blade and then I will uh, glue the, the pin holes for the pins for our knife build here. Just to uh, take the time to shape the, the, I guess would be the bolster part of the the handle, the part that goes uh, would be right would be right up there. So what uh, easiest way I've found to do that is to use uh, some glue here. This is just some super glue, and uh, by CEC Corp. Interestingly enough, this is Canadian made, and uh, I also have some epoxy I'll be using. Uh, but first of all, I'm just going to put a couple dots here, a couple dots of glue, and stick the scales together so they're exactly in the same spot. I'll put uh, uh, put the drill bits in there just to get the scales in the exact same spot, and then I will just go to the grinder and shape the front of the bolster there. Okay, well, here we are. I've got the front bolster all done here, and I just did very, very simple little archway that way, and then I took it from uh, uh, 80 grit to 220 grit, and then up to, uh, I believe it was an old 400 grit, maybe an old 320 grit, I forget exactly, but then I'm just going to take it <clears throat> to uh, just a buffer and slightly buff that. I'm not looking for a super bright shine, but uh, just a uh, just a nice, uh, nice look there, as you can see. So um, <clears throat> it'll be uh, something kind of like, like this when we get it all, get all glued together. But uh, ready to, ready to glue this knife together, and uh, get uh, get the build progressing. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. Well, I just have one more step I'm gonna throw in here. Um, I don't usually use uh, my bandsaw all that much. It's a pretty junky bandsaw, thin blade does not cut well at all. I just use it for very small cuts, but um, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of material. You can see I just did the outline of what the knife handle is, and so there's a lot of extra material here that I'm just going to try to hack off with my, with my bandsaw. Okay, well as you saw, my Mastercraft bandsaw is a piece of junk. Uh, blade won't tighten very well and uh, just very hard to get a straight cut. But anyway, I managed to hack off <clears throat> most of most of the extra stuff there. Obviously there's going to be a lot of stuff to, to grind off after it's glued on, but it uh, saves me, you know, taking this whole part off here. It's going to save a lot of my belts. This is pretty hard, uh, hard micarta here, but uh, yeah. Pretty good, uh, pretty happy with that. And so now I'm going to uh, go ahead and pop these scales apart and then uh, get ready to glue them on. Um, I will I will just do a quick touch up on my buffer. Uh, my buffer's in the house. <clears throat> but uh, just uh, do a quick touch up on the buffer there and uh, shine that up uh, just a bit. Not going for a glossy shine as I said, but uh, just a little bit of a smoother look, smoother finish. And so then we'll get the, uh, <clears throat> the, the epoxy out and glue up our knife so moving right along <laughs> 